Hi guys, Boyd here with Trekworks again. And I've got something pretty interesting on my uh, workbench today. Uh, if you guys remember on my NX-01 build here, I'm using a couple of different systems to do my lighting on the model. And I'm using the Tenet Controls board, which runs at 9 volts. And I'm using the Monsters in Motion lighting kit, which runs at 4.5 volts. And then I'm using the LED tape to uh, light the uh, saucer and other areas on the model. And that also requires 9 volts. So that presents a little problem where I need to have separate voltages. And uh, I didn't want to run more than one power supply. I wanted to bring a basic 9 volts in and then drop that down to 4.5. Now there's a simple way you can do that. You can connect a couple of uh, resistors uh, across your power source and you can cut your voltage in half. And so in this case, 9 volts cut in half would be 4.5. But since the uh, Monsters in Motion board is a chip control board, it might be kind of sensitive, so I thought I might need a little cleaner signal than that. And so I decided to order a uh, specific voltage regulator here that's uh, uh, all set up to run a nice clean signal on, on the backside. Now I ordered two of these. I found these online, and I'll put the link on the video here for you. They were very inexpensive. They were about $6 a piece. And the way they come from the factory is... Uh, they're set up to run the same amount of output voltage as they are on input but you have this little adjustable pot here at the top and you can see right now I'm running 9 volts off my power supply coming in and here at the uh, output side I've got 9 volts coming out and so uh, let me zoom in on this real quick here for you and you can see uh, how the board looks up close and again this little adjustable potentiometer uh, you turn it clockwise and you'll begin to reduce the voltage I've done a little testing on it and I've, I've found out that about 5 or Four and a half or five turns will take me down to about four and a half volts. So what I'll do is show you how that works here. And again, we're going to just turn it clockwise. And let me get my screwdriver on here. Okay, here we go. I'm turning it, and I've made about one turn there. Two turns. Three. And that's four. And right about there. Let's see. Back this up just a little bit. Okay, right there we're at about 4.5 or 4.51, four and a half volts basically. So that's really, really simple and easy to use. Uh, it, it has a, a transistor on here that's mounted on a heat sink and a couple big capacitors. So uh, it, the board won't get hot. You won't have any problems putting it in a um, inside your model. I plan on mounting this inside the saucer along with the tenant controls board for the navigation lights. And uh, that way I, what I'll do is basically when I wire this up now, I'll bring in 9 volts and split that off over to the tenant control board and to my strip lighting and then the uh, other branch I'll bring over to the input side of this board and then the output out will connect to the Monsters in Motion uh, board and we should have everything working just fine so that should solve that problem uh, what I'll be doing is uh, setting up here and I'll show you we've got some more work done on the saucer I've got the uh, I've added some fiber optic lighting in there I've added some individual LEDs and we're just about ready to close that up so all I need to do now is install this board along with the tenant controls board and get the final wiring done there and we'll have the saucer ready to go so I'll come back and show you how we're going to get all that done in here uh, just a little bit be right back with that guys okay everybody well we're really rocking and rolling on this thing now you can see in the shot here that I've got the boards mounted in this uh, let me explain a little bit what I've done here this is our little voltage regulator that we just got done uh, making the adjustments on so we've got 9 volt power coming in this is this line right here uh, and then we've got four and a half volts coming out, which runs over to my Monsters in Motion board, and that's running the uh, Bassard lighting effect. Up here we have the Tenet Controls board that runs to, uh, needs to run at nine volts, so I've got that tapped in directly to my nine volt power here, where I split it off. And then these uh, leads here I'll use for the uh, uh, lighting for the uh, uh, lighting in the upper part of the saucer here, which is all going to run at nine volts, and I'll just connect that to these two terminals here. And uh, I've got some individual LEDs to put in in this shed up for these little crystals here. And uh, we've got a strobe light here. We've got to put some individual 3mm uh, bulbs in here to do the little flood lamps for the... Uh, I think the, these are cargo bay doors or whatever they are. And then we've got to put our strobes in here. We've got our little uh, navigation lights on the top and the bottom. The bottom ones are already installed and everything's working. So uh, what I'll do is plug this in now for you. And you can see that uh, for... For the first time now, we're all under our own power, and um, everything is working good. You can see our Bassard effect there, and we've got our uh, uh, strobe light there at the back with our navigation lights in place. We've got the little uh, uh, crystal there lighting up with our little 
uh, spotlight or a little marker lights here and there. You can't see it in the shop, but the impulse engines are lit up too. Um, so everything's working good. Our little navigation lights here are flashing here on the port and the starboard side. And uh, the entire model is all in one piece now too. It's not totally solid yet, but when I put the top half on this, this will secure this up and I've got this nice and straight. I'm pretty happy with how that came out. So what I've got to do now is I've got to come in and uh, do some individual LEDs. I'm going to use some 3 millimeter whites uh, to light these little uh, flood light areas here on the, uh, I guess they're cargo bays. And then we've got some uh, strobe lights to put in here next to the navigation lights on the top and the bottom. And then also here uh, at the top, we've got to do our strobe light at the rear of the bridge, the navigation lights, which uh, these will just go, uh, I'll stick these in these holes at the last minute right when I get ready to seal it up. And then we've got these same cargo bays here on the top where I'll have to drill a little hole on each side and uh, install a 3mm uh, bulb here on each one to get those lit up. And then there's a little kind of a tower thing here uh, that I've got to do a little bit of work to paint that and get that uh, ready to be lit. And that'll need an LED right there as well. But we're getting really close to getting this sealed up. I'm hoping by this weekend that uh, uh, by the end of this weekend the work that I'll have everything ready to go and we'll be able to seal it up. So... I'll come back in here in just a minute and show you some of the work putting in the fiber optics and uh, some of the smaller LEDs that we're going to use for the lighting. And we'll check out how that's going. See you then. Hey there everybody, we're back and uh, you can see I've uh, done a little bit of work here. We're back to the top half of the saucer and uh, I've got my fiber optics installed here at the front uh, for my little green and red lights there in the corners underneath of the kind of the scoop thing there at the front. And I've got a white one here uh, in the center that'll uh, light up our uh, throw a little light on our registry, the Enterprise name there on the front. And then here on the sides uh, for these cargo bay areas, hatches, I've got uh, some 3 millimeter white bulbs installed there to uh, throw a little light on those on the outside. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, I've got to come back and add, uh, I'm going to use these 5 uh, millimeter uh, white bulbs and I'm going to lay those on their side so they'll light up the top, the bottom and the top uh, strobe lights. And then here at the uh, We've got this lower section all assembled here, and so we're getting close to putting this together. Now I left these loose here, so what I'll do is when I flip this over and attach, these will pop right into these holes right here, and I'll secure those. And then we'll have our strobes in place. I've got to hook up this little uh, one behind the bridge here as a strobe light too, to the strobe circuit. But uh, all this bottom part here is done, and all of our rear lighting is done. There's one more LED that needs to go in right here. There's kind of like a little tower assembly there that goes in there that's supposed to be lit up. And uh, these uh, these uh, little there's some detail there at the back side that we want to throw a little bit of light on. So uh, then we'll put our deflector dish assembly in and put our side walls on. And then we've got to go and put all of our window inserts in. And then this will be ready to seal up. So we're really coming along good on that. And um, let me uh, turn the lights on here for you. And you can see that we're lighting up nice and bright here. I'll get you a little closer shot of the. Uh, uh, fiber optics there at the front and you can see uh, we've got the green the red and the red and the green and then the white one in the center and that worked out nice I'll flip that over here for you in a second and show you what that looks like from the front but you can see here at the sides we've got these little cargo uh, hatches uh, lit up and it's going out of focus it does this camera doesn't like light very well I've got to usually set it on manual when I'm looking at something with light but let me turn this over for you here and you'll see Maybe if I can get you some low light here. Uh, try to zoom in a little bit here on this uh, fiber optic. And you can see that's coming through really nice. And there's a little white one there at the center. And then we'll have all of our window lighting now. I'll point out too that... Uh, um, let me go ahead and unplug this now. Uh, our lighting uh, worked out really well for the uh, LED tape. Uh, the... It turns out I didn't have to put in any LED tape in the bottom side of this at all because uh, the reflection that I'm getting from this tape alone bouncing back and forth is lighting the, the top and the bottom windows really nice and even, so that turned out really good. And uh, we're going to be fine for our deflector dish and everything else. The bridge isn't lit on this one at the top. It's supposed to be painted gold. And our planetary sensor dome on the bottom is going to light up. We showed that in the other view, uh, video how well that's going to light up. So we're getting good to go here. So that's going to be a pretty much wrap it up for this update on this. Um, We'll be back. Uh, I'm working on the uh, Cylon Centurion model kit over on the uh, Sci-Fi Model Action Channel. I'll have an update for that uh, 
for the weekends over here. And then we're doing a uh, group build over at the Sci-Fi Model Action Channel. We're doing the 1-1000 scale uh, Klingon uh, D7. And uh, I've started doing a little bit of work to that. Uh, a lot of us are uh, lighting these up. And uh, I've got the uh, engine nacelles cut out now. And I've got some clear sprue that I'll be putting in here and lighting these up with some green LEDs and we've got the front section here uh, that we're still working on. I'm drilling these holes for the uh, we're lighting the uh, uh, deflector or torpedo launcher tube here at the front and we've got the light lighting on the windows here and we've got some uh, let's see well the main body's over on the paint booth but I've got the holes cut out in the back for the uh, impulse engines to light up too so we're having a little fun with that one. There's some great builds of that going on you guys get a chance I'll throw the link up here uh, stop by if you haven't been there already and check out sci-fi model action uh, we've got a really fun group build going on like I mentioned of the d7 and seeing some fast fantastic uh, different versions of that guys are really talented doing their lighting and the paintwork and everything so it's a lot of fun so that's gonna do it for this one guys we'll catch up with you later until I see y'all take care out there and we'll see you next time happy modeling everyone